Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Fallout 4 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now this is currently running at 1080p with the lowest in-game graphics settings, which pretty much means that everything is either set to the lowest or just completely off. And of course, this time around the game is running with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And you'll see that the performance that we're getting here at the 15 watt TDP is actually pretty decent. The 1% lows dropping down to 30 is a little disappointing, but it's nothing that is detrimental to the overall gaming experience really without the fps counter you could probably get away with playing the entirety of the game like this and you really wouldn't notice too much in terms of issues though it's still overall not an amazing experience you can get away with playing like this but really you can also boost the performance here by just dropping the resolution down to 900p and just by doing that we're able to pretty much boost the performance to be at an over 60 fps average most of the time with one percent lows that are dropping to just slightly below that really overall it's going to be a much better experience it's going to play perfectly fine and you alleviate a lot of the more common stutters that would happen throughout the gaming experience really at this point the only thing that's going to cause stutters is going into the bigger areas like diamond city but that's going to happen a lot of the times on almost any system and not to mention that there are mods out there that actually help to boost the performance in the game so you could potentially attempt to use those to try to squeeze out a little bit more performance out of this but we're pretty much at the range now where i feel like almost any anyone would be perfectly happy with this i don't really know why you would want to try to squeeze out a little bit more performance out of this maybe just getting those one percent lows up to 60 but honestly you don't really need that as it is right now you can pretty much perfectly get away with playing the entirety of the game and you're not really going to run into any issues whatsoever just turn off the fps counter and just enjoy the game because you're really not going to need it in fact at this point you have enough headroom that you can turn things up a couple of graphics settings up maybe just one or two and you're going to be able to at least keep a little bit of a consistent experience though it is going to be worse than this and one last thing we can look at here is the game running with the 25 watt tdp at the exact same settings as before so this time around you can see that the performance that we're getting at 900p is pretty decent overall very similar to how it was at 15 watts though so i don't really see the point in increasing the tdp here it's really not necessary you're going to get a playable experience at 900p anyway and at 1080p it's not going to give you a big enough boost to really justify it you're kind of just using up more power generating more heat and causing more noise for pretty much nothing in this title there's certainly other titles that benefit more from it but this one is really not one that i think would benefit too much from it so i would really just save yourself the trouble and leave it at the stock settings but anyways i appreciate you watching i hope you found this video useful if you did be sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next one